Julia Enders, Gut, The Inside Story of Our Body's Most Underrated Organ, Revised Edition. Welcome to an enlightening exploration of your gut's fascinating intricacies. Gut, The Inside Story of Our Body's Most Underrated Organ, by Julia Enders brings you inside the wondrous world of our digestive system, unveiling the crucial processes that often go unnoticed. In this book summary, you'll learn about the gut's connection to the immune system, its relationship with microbes, and how it influences emotions. You'll also unravel the deep connection between diet and gut microbes, the effects of allergies and lactose intolerance, and the fundamentals of maintaining a healthy gut. Come along on this captivating journey through the mystical, microcosmic realm of your gut. The Underrated Gut Wonders Our underrated digestive system, often dismissed as disgusting, is truly fascinating and essential for our well-being. Known as the gastrointestinal tract, the gut independently performs its functions, housing a unique nervous system and billions of bacteria. Gaining a deeper understanding of our gut's inner workings helps us appreciate its significance in our overall health. Enigmatic as it may seem, our digestive system deserves more credit than it usually receives. Commonly referred to as the gut or gastrointestinal tract, this vital organ carries out its tasks largely outside our conscious control, thanks to its autonomous nervous system. A vital aspect of the human body, our gut contributes significantly to our overall well-being and deserves our attention. We are often aware of the food we consume, as it is the tangible experience we have in our everyday lives. The moment of savoring delicious meals and indulging our cravings is undeniably a pleasurable moment, however, we rarely focus on the marvels occurring behind the scenes as the food travels through our digestive tract. It is only when issues such as indigestion arise that we pay attention to this mostly hidden yet essential body function. One mind-blowing feature of the gut is the presence of a staggering 100 billion bacteria, which make up 99% of all microorganisms in our body. To put this into perspective, a single gram of human excrement contains more bacteria than there are people on Earth. Far from being a cause for concern, these bacteria play crucial roles in our overall health and well-being. While our gut may not be a glamorous topic, it is crucial to recognize the remarkable work it undertakes daily. Understanding the intricacies and importance of our digestive system allows us to develop a deeper appreciation for its role in our lives. Being informed about our gut paves the way for gratitude and better maintenance of this essential, albeit underrated, organ. Journey of a Tempting Cake The moment you set eyes on a delectable cake, your digestive system starts working in anticipation, responding to your desire for that sweet treat. The sight alone triggers your salivary glands and gastric acid production, while your brain is powerless against these gut reactions. Upon entering the bakery, your sense of smell enhances your appetite as scent particles reach your brain, fueling your longing for the cake even more. Once you begin eating, your mouth and taste senses savor the delightful textures and flavors. As you chew, your soft palate and pharynx guide the cake into your esophagus, delving into the unconscious depths of your body's digesting wonders. The Magical Digestion Journey Picture a sports stadium filled with fans doing the wave. That's how your esophagus works, automatically transporting food from your mouth to your stomach via a coordinated muscle motion. From the moment we're born, our stomachs excel at breaking down food, processing it for about two hours until it's completely disintegrated into tiny pieces. Interestingly, emotions like stress and anxiety can impact our stomachs, causing contractions and even ulcers. Once everything is broken down, the small intestine steps in to extract vital nutrients, completing the essential process of digestion. Your esophagus moves with an undulating motion, skillfully navigates food through your digestive system. This feed occurs independently, without any control on your part once the food reaches a certain point. Even when upside down, your esophagus expertly propels food toward your stomach, carrying out a task mastered since your time in the womb. Upon reaching your stomach, that piece of food undergoes a roughly two-hour transformation, broken down by gastric fluid until it reaches a size of about 0.2 millimeters. 
The unconscious nature of digestion is a blessing, after all, who wants the responsibility of consciously breaking down each bite of food? Demonstrating impressive flexibility, your stomach expands during meals to process the influx of food. Yet, emotions can play a surprising role in the digestive process. Stress and anxiety can lead to stomach contractions, loss of appetite, and even cause gastric fluids to attack the stomach lining, resulting in ulcers. But when digestion runs smoothly, the small, broken-down particles of food pass from the stomach to the small intestine, thanks to a small area called the pylorus. Here, in the small intestine, your body kickstarts the crucial phase of digestion, extracting vital nutrients and ensuring your body stays nourished. The Intriguing Small Intestine The small intestine is always in motion, using small electric shocks to move and manipulate the food through its walls made up of finger-like villi. These villi absorb the nutrients and keep everything moving forward. Interestingly, gut growling isn't a hunger signal, but rather the sound of the intestine cleaning itself. The food then stops at the ileocecal valve, a calmer area where the body absorbs vitamins and gastric acid. During digestion, stress can lead to diarrhea by impacting the intestine's ability to process fluids. The whole digestive process takes a minimum of 10 hours, or even up to 100 hours in some cases. Our small intestines are in constant movement, lined with an endless series of intestinal villi, minuscule finger-like projections ensuring food is continuously driven forward. These many, around 30 per millimeter, Remarkable villi rely on miniature electric shocks to rhythmically contract and propel food. However, silence isn't always golden, especially when it comes to gut growling. While often mistaken for a cry for sustenance, this noise is merely the small intestine's after-dinner cleaning routine, with each growl signifying a thorough scrub down. Keep in mind that giving in to the growling and eating during the process might throw a wrench in its natural progression. As the once appetizing piece of cake moves along, it encounters the more peaceful ileocecal valve. Here, the body conveniently mops up any remaining nutrients, including essential B12 vitamins and gastric acid. However, not immune to life's hurdles, anxiety and stress can upset this tranquil haven, causing intestinal chaos that may manifest as an unfortunate bout of diarrhea. Capable of processing an impressive 10 liters of fluid every day, from saliva and beverages to gastric acid and chyle, our digestive systems are veritable powerhouses. While this wondrous process usually takes a neat 10 hours, it may stretch to an astounding 100 hours before finally crossing the finish line. Unraveling Gut's Role in Allergies Surprisingly, the gut plays a major role in our body's allergic responses. During digestion, proteins are broken down, but sometimes small protein pieces remain, which can trigger immune reactions and allergies. Moreover, lactose intolerance similarly results from the gut's inability to produce necessary enzymes, affecting a significant part of the population as they age. You may not typically associate allergies with the gut, but research reveals its significant role in the allergic reactions we experience. The key lies in the digestion process, specifically in how proteins are broken down. Ideally, proteins should be absorbed smoothly into the bloodstream via the small intestine. However, there are instances where this process isn't flawless, take hazelnuts, for example. If small protein pieces remain unabsorbed, they can get wrapped in fat droplets, absorbed into the lymphatic system, and consequently interact with our immune cells. Once these cells encounter the leftover proteins, they may mistakenly perceive them as threats, triggering an allergic reaction to combat them. If this continues, our immune system may intensify its response, leading to exaggerated allergic reactions. Another gut-related issue is lactose intolerance, which shares a similar origin. At the small intestine's entrance, gastric fluid rich in vital enzymes is introduced to help break down food further. However, this fluid lacks enzymes needed to break down lactose. These enzymes are produced deeper in the small intestine, but sometimes, there may be a shortage. As a result, lactose makes its way into the large intestine, providing nutrients for gas-producing bacteria. 
For anyone with lactose intolerance, the impacts are all too familiar, bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Sadly, as we age, around 75% of the population will undergo a genetic shift that ceases the production of the enzyme responsible for breaking down lactose. Gut-brain connection. Have you ever been told that you're thinking with your stomach? It might be truer than you think. Our gut actually hosts a unique network of around 500 million neurons, known as the enteric nervous system, which operates independently from the brain. Neuroscience explores the relationship between the brain and gut through the central nervous system, leading to the question, can our gut influence our emotions? Research on mice has shown that a healthy gut can, in fact, lead to improved mood and better cognitive performance. With the gut playing such a crucial sensory role inside our bodies, it's time we give credit to the wisdom of our stomachs. Gut Microbes, Unseen Allies The gut is responsible for a significant portion of our immune system and hosts numerous microorganisms essential for our health. From birth, we develop an ecosystem of microbes that assist in digestion and various bodily functions. The first three years see the development of good bacteria from sources like mother's milk. Scientists have discovered three different entertypes, or bacterial families, that are influenced by dietary habits. As research progresses, connections may be found between this concept and the classifications found in traditional Chinese medicine. The gut's essential role in our immune system, accounting for 80%, makes it much more than just a digestive aid that processes what we eat. Most of the dangerous bacteria and germs that enter our bodies come through our mouths, making the gut a vital defense against them. However, not all bacteria are detrimental. In fact, our well-being largely relies on the work of numerous microorganisms. Each of our bodies carries millions of these microbes, forming diverse ecosystems crucial for our survival. Their importance begins at birth, although unborn babies are in a sterile environment, they encounter a vast world of microbes once they leave their protective amniotic sacs. These microorganisms soon constitute 90% of our body's cells. During the first three years after birth, we cultivate beneficial microbes in our gut, with mother's milk being an excellent source. It provides healthy bacteria such as bifidobacteria, which help prevent obesity, and others that aid digestion. The specific bacteria we receive depend on the mother's diet. In 2011, scientists discovered entertypes, bacterial families that function collectively. They identified three main types, each dominating an individual's gut according to their diet. Ongoing research aims to understand the relationship between these entertypes and dietary habits, possibly linking them to traditional Chinese medicine, which categorizes people into three distinct groups based on their long-term diets. Gut microbes impact cravings. Believe it or not, even after millions of years of evolution, we continue to discover things about our own bodies. Within our digestive tract, there lie about 100 trillion microorganisms called gut flora, which might have ties to our brain. How? Bacteria produce amino acids like tyrosine and tryptophan, which can permeate the brain's protective layers. Once inside, they turn into dopamine and serotonin, impacting our mood and potentially our cravings. The depths of this connection are still being explored, but evidence suggests that cutting certain foods from our diet may reduce related cravings because our gut no longer hosts the microorganisms drawn to those foods. A fascinating example of how microorganisms can influence behavior is the case of Toxoplasma gondii. Commonly found in cats, this microbe can also enter human and rat hosts. Affected rats experience a change in behavior, as they're attracted to cat urine instead of being repelled by it. The parasite's effect on humans can manifest in risky behavior, as studies have shown that infected individuals might engage in activities leading to a higher likelihood of accidents. So, that craving you have for a specific food? You might want to thank the gut flora for it. As scientists continue to delve into the mysterious world of microorganisms, our understanding of how they impact our behavior, cravings, and overall health will only grow. The key lies in deciphering these complex connections, 
as we gain a better understanding of our own biology and how the smallest of organisms can have large-scale effects on our well-being. Microbes, friends or foes. Toxoplasma dondii exemplifies the harmful side of gut microorganisms, but it would be a mistake to dismiss all microbes as detrimental. The history of human microbe interaction has seen its ups and downs, such as the contrasting discoveries by Russian immunologist Ilya Meknikov and proponents of antibiotic use in the 20th century. Meknikov revealed the benefits of lactic acid bacteria, while antibiotics led to the idea that bacteria are universally harmful. Later research in baby formula ingredients exposed the importance of bacteria from mother's milk. Today's acceptance of probiotic and prebiotic benefits highlights the significance of understanding and embracing the positive side of our microscopic allies. The Grand Cologne Finale The large intestine marks the final stage of the digestion process, where water is reabsorbed and waste is prepared for expulsion. An internal sphincter muscle operates automatically and communicates with the brain to ensure a smooth and well-coordinated defecation process. Conscious control and collaboration between the inner and outer sphincter muscles are important to maintain gut health and avoid constipation. The large intestine, or colon, wraps up the digestive system's extensive journey. As the food enters the colon, the digestion process is complete, and the bowel absorbs any remaining water to prepare the feces for elimination. This waste eventually arrives at the rectum, home of our sphincter muscles. We learn to control our outer sphincter muscles as children to avoid accidents, but an inner sphincter muscle operates on its own. When waste reaches the rectum, the inner sphincter releases a small amount into the rectum, triggering sensors that relay crucial information about the substance's nature to our brain, such as its gaseous or solid state and urgency. Our brain processes this data, and we decide the best course of action. We choose when to open the outer sphincter and either visit the toilet or discreetly pass gas. Both the conscious and unconscious aspects of our gut collaborate for a successful and harmonious defecation process. Frequently postponing toilet breaks can disrupt the inner sphincter muscle and lead to constipation. So, while our food's journey within our bodies may be incredible, it's only at the beginning and end that we consciously interact with it. And remember, always flush. In the journey through gut, the inside story of our body's most underrated organ, you've discovered that the digestive system is a marvel of autonomous processes intricately connected with our emotions, immune system, and overall health. You've learned that fostering a healthy ecosystem of microbes within the gut is essential, as well as the importance of monitoring allergies and lactose intolerance. By understanding and appreciating the gut's roles in human health, you can begin to make informed decisions about your diet and overall well-being. So, next time you savor a delicious meal, take a moment to appreciate the spectacular inner workings of your body's most underrated organ.